hey hi so in this video we are going to make uh, the weather app so this will be our we uh, weather app so it will show us uh, the place and weather and temperature in degree and if you click it will show in Fahrenheit it will show the icon according to your weather and it will change its background according to weather okay so let's let's make this so let me explain you the HTML of this app. So uh, this is whole container. This whole app will be inside container bootstrap. Okay. Adding. Okay. Sub adding and uh, everything will be inside this row. This row will be the width of six inch. Okay. That will just to center it and well class will create like this. This is the well class bootstrap class so i have given uh, this in inf wrap id okay so weather info will be here and this is the button this button and this uh, d4 this icon okay so let's uh, add to our css so css is not that much complicated just i have given color white and I will explain these in a moment. So the main thing is, uh, main the heart of this app is in inside JavaScript. So let's take a look at this. So first, in order to make this app, we need to find the location. Okay, location of user. So unfortunately, the geolocation doesn't work in this code pen. So I have used the API called IP API. Okay. So I have defined uh, this, so this is the document ready function. I have defined two variable uh, latitude and longitude and I have called the show weather open the document loading. Okay, so this will show by default when I load the document. So this is all about it. Okay, so now yeah, now we have to make the show weather function. So this is the a uh, little bit complicated not that much okay so let me explain so first i um, define the api okay api key so ip api if you search for ip api here you will find information about it so the main thing is you just uh, send the get request to this url and it will give you json okay uh, so um, uh, it will just output data in JSON format. So we have used uh, jQuery dot get JSON function. So if you want, you can see what it returns. Okay, uh, what this thing returns. Okay, just uh, you can take a look at that that by logging that inside your console so json and if i save and rerun this i think inside console we can see the object yeah so it will return this object so what we require uh, require is we have to display city country okay so this is the country code and all this stuff so yeah we can display from this api or uh, i'll talk about another api in a moment okay so what we require from here is let and long okay so latitude and longitude so that we'll get by this <coughs> json dot let okay access we access that variable by this format and we are storing that inside let and long which we have defined here and after that yeah i'm console logging yeah no need to log this i will comment out this also so this is now uh, we know what is the position of you user and we use this data inside another api called weather api okay we use that data to post the request get request to this URL okay API so we'll also get another JSON 
and we'll use this data to populate the weather okay so you can also take a look at that yeah this station let's take a look what it returns so save and let me just refresh this yeah now you can see inside this uh, yeah it is returning everything from temperature to name of region to yeah description about weather okay sunrise time look at this so next after we send that to our weather API we'll get we'll assign the value from that object to inside the ktem means temperature in Kelvin uh, in century Celsius okay so we are converting using this formula ktem minus 273 that will give us Celsius temperature in Celsius and we are fixing it to two digits okay two decimal places so for a night we, we are converting using this formula okay also fixing up to two decimal places <coughs> next main weather so json dot weather so now we are accessing this weather variable you can take a look at here okay wait yeah this weather okay weather object this is array so array of mm, object array no this is object okay weather object so inside weather object what we are doing yeah weather weather is the array of objects okay this one object wind object okay so what we are doing is we are accessing this zero means first first object this is the first object first array okay so first object of array and we are accessing the main so main will give us information about main weather well, main thing okay so main is rain so we'll display that if you want to display description you can change that to description also I'm not doing that for now so now uh, let's construct the HTML okay out of this station so first I'm assigning empty to HTML and I'm adding this span paragraph inside paragraph this span span ta tag so you spent inside the span tag I'm displaying the name okay so name this is the name of place next I'm displaying this country let me change the layout okay uh, this is the HTML structure so JSON name this name okay this is country country name I'm displaying that from here another thing is you can also display that from here also but I'm not going to do that for now uh, next I'm adding the main weather this inside the paragraph tag okay that's all for HTML so next this weather info tag so I'm displaying that inside weather info div okay so div tag sorry ID div containing this ID 
next i'm just assigning the temp okay this div to a variable this id to a vari variable selector id selector to this temp id temperature id variable so that i can use it easily i don't have to type this whole time okay so i can easily use this instead instead of typing that so i am changing the html of that to temperature in centigrade and i am uh, displaying this degree centigrade sign using this html entity next toggle temperature unit so first i'm checking uh, so first i'm assigning t check temperature check to false so that i can toggle only if that is true so on clicking that this div what will happen if t check equals to false which will be by default i am displaying that into if that is false then temperature dot html will be in fahrenheit fahrenheit and i am making that t check to true else if that is true that will display in cent celsius okay so i'm i'm making that to false so that i can toggle okay if that is false that will become true false true false like that okay next uh i'm changing background if temperature is greater than 25 then so this background okay this whole thing css property url background size okay next else if, if temperature is less than 25 then this image similarly i'm assigning this icon selector to this variable and uh, this uh, from this onward i'm changing just this icon okay so how to change the icon so main weather okay main weather whether it is rain cloud or everything it will give us okay so if that is rain we are toggling class rain okay so break that if there is no rain we'll display rain okay so next if cloud making cloud you can add class cloud okay toggle is fine so if clear then clear okay so by default it will be clear so let's see these classes what these classes are doing yeah these classes are just injecting this icon before the content okay just doing that rain cloud clear okay so they are injecting this icon before the content okay um, i'm missing that one extra column it is fine so this is all about weather app so i don't want to waste your time and make you bored by just typing and each and every step you can every time pause and take a look okay so that's all for now please subscribe to channel okay so that that encourages me to make more and more videos so that's all for now bye